Aristotle also talks about catharsis, which is an emotional event that takes place only after we've felt pity and fear. Catharsis is really the emotional climax of a story. The term originates from medicine, and it means purgation, or to flush something out of the body. And Aristotle may have been talking about moral purgation, that by experiencing pity and fear, we somehow get rid of the bad stuff that's lurking in our hearts and in our minds. And so catharsis lets us discharge these things from our psychological makeup. And indeed, it really is part of our body. I mean, when we are deeply involved in a movie, scientists have studied our breathing changes, our pupils dilate, we may even work up a sweat. And the way that our bodies react almost makes it seem as if we're the ones facing the trouble. We have this combination of fear and pity and catharsis take place in our physical selves, but of course only to the extent that a story is well formed and properly engineered to create those effects. So the extent to which a story can create pity, fear, and do so in a way that leads to catharsis really has very little to do with how much money has been invested into special effects. These effects that lead to catharsis are created by plot, by setting, by word choices in the script, and by acting. And when they all come together, we as an audience can know some very dark and terrible things without having to experience them directly. Through the magic of catharsis, we can also experience relief. So the movies play an important role in this sense because we feel the stress of terrible events even if they never happen to us personally. So 9-11 is a huge example of that and you will see many movies where people are trying to work out the anxieties that this event created and I even have included an article with this course that you're able to download to read an analysis that I have made of how that some movies are showing signs of dealing with 9-11 even to this day. But on a smaller scale, family dramas help us work through our problems in society and you know we can work through problems that aren't even our own personally and really experience them in a personal way and actually have a benefit by working through them. So the processes of storytelling means that the movies have the power to help us heal relative to the skills of the storyteller to arrange all of these elements and press the buttons at just the right moments. And so that Aristotle identified these buttons thousands of years ago and that they still work speaks volumes about the problems we face as humans and the solutions that we come up with and stories reveal this and help us think through it in a very, very deep way. So for your homework, Read Aristotle's Poetics, and I highly recommend watching The Silence of the Lambs in relation to this. And I recommend going forward into the next steps of the course that you read Oedipus Rex by Sophocles, which Aristotle refers to, and then watch Minority Report, which we're going to be talking about in detail. Also, please be sure to pop in to the group and post your thoughts about everything that you've seen so far, and let me know how you're finding the course, and I look forward to hearing from you.